Just a quick disclaimer before we get the video started. Um, everything in this video was run through the vet first. We had to go to the vet to get the medication and then we ran it by him if we could uh, put that medication through the dart gun and uh, yes, it is approved and that's what he recommended. So um, just once again, make sure Make sure you're doing everything according to the rule book and always consult with your vet before you treat any kind of livestock. So anyway, that's just my quick little disclaimer. Now onto the video. to the channel everyone in today's video um, I'm gonna be treating some sick calves um, they're dealing with BVD or bovine respiratory disease um, that would just be pneumonia that'd be what normal people would know it by but um, just some background on the calves they have all been vaccinated and they've had two rounds of booster and so I think the cause of all this is just due to the weather um, we went from 97 and sunny to a uh, week of 68 at night and drizzling for the whole week straight. So uh, not been great weather and I think it's the sickness is mainly due to weather change. But um, the heifer we're going to be treating today, she was actually sick when she was a little, little calf. And uh, that took a pretty big toll on her body and she has never been the same. So she's always been pretty ugly. She never lost her fur coat, her winter fur. And uh, she's in small and scrawny and that's just... That's just what happened to her. So um, she is sick again. And so uh, one sign you'll know is of course coughing, um, frequent coughing, I should say. And they'll lose their appetite. They'll droop their head, droop their ears, um, stand off by themselves. And like I said, they're not gonna wanna eat anything. So um, that's a pretty good sign you got a sick calf and she is definitely sick. And you can tell because she's so skinny. So. Um, since she hasn't been eating, uh, you can see a lot of ribs and it doesn't look too good. So hopefully this shot here will turn her around and I will see you guys a couple days after the treatment and see what it did to her. Yeah, I moved them into this field this morning and they were in the Bermuda field that I showed you guys in the last video. They were in there for three days and I got them moved over here. So our victim is way back there. You can see that little black thing in the woods there. Um, that's her victim. It looks like she is suffering from pneumonia and in this summer heat they can die pretty quick from it and haven't had any trouble with it yet. Of course now that I say that she's coughing but um, haven't really had any major health problems this year at all. Not even pink eye which is interesting so um, hopefully we will get this figured out and she will be all better here soon. Today we are going to be shooting the calf with a, well, it's kind of just a dart gun. Um, put the medicine in the needle, stick it in the gun, shoot her with the gun, hopefully in the neck where it's supposed to go. The antibiotics will get shot into her and hopefully she'll be better in a couple days. So um, the reason why I'm doing this instead of getting her in the head shoot and giving her an actual shot is because they are a long ways from the corral and working system. So. Um, the only other way to do it would be to rope her and give her a shot that way, but um, I'm out here by myself, so I'm going to try to give her a shot here, and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so here is our little box here, and this has all of our needles and uh, everything else we're going to use, so um, I'm going to guess she weighs about 300 pounds, and the Draxon I'm using supposed to be one one milliliter per hundred pounds I believe so um, 300 pounds could be three mils and I think this is a three mil yeah. so we're gonna be using these here are practice darts if you want to practice these are five mil five cc five mil and the big ones are seven I think these are ten these are ten um, you can get all different sizes depending on what what you're giving to the animals and now it's time to load up the syringe. 
So what you do here is, um, I'm gonna fill this syringe up. I actually changed my mind, I'm gonna use a five mil, five mil syringe, or five mils of Drax in here. Actually I may do four, I'll do four. And uh, I think she weighs a little bit more than three. And I actually looked at those smaller ones and I believe they are, um, I believe they're actually two or two and a half. So, um, anyway, so using the 5cc. So what you do is take your syringe, stick it in this one. And you slowly push it in until it gets full. And there we go. So here I'm gonna pull this back, slide that in. Close it up. And then we'll give it one, two, three, and five okay only smashed my hand once anyway now we're gonna try to get her over here out of the woods and get a shot at her so crawling through the woods here probably gonna cover them ticks and chiggers but uh here she is you can tell she's not looking the best she's coughing get her out in the open here. Maybe, here she'll go. There she is, and... Getting shot with a dart, obviously can't feel too good, but uh, it's much, much better off for him than driving him back to the corral, getting him stressed and it's hot, and so, just keeping him in here in the shade, it works out a lot better. So, she ran off, of course. It takes them a while to to rub that that needle off, and I'm gonna try to follow her around and see if I can pick up the needle so it's not on the ground. But it was successful. Hopefully, it'll work. I will know here in a day or so if she starts getting better. Draxon tends to work pretty well and pretty fast. So, um, and I actually used to not use Draxon, but. You guys recommended it, and I used it on these guys when they were little for the ones that got sick, and it worked like a charm. So um, thank you for the recommendations. If you guys have any more, please leave them down in the comments below. I will see you guys here in a day or so and see if she gets any better. So guys, there she is two days later. It's the two-day update. Um, she is eating. She has an appetite again, which is a great sign. Um, this one I shot yesterday. She's looking a little better. She also has an appetite. You can tell she's skinny, that's because she hasn't been eating, and uh, anyway, this one, she is all, well, I wouldn't say all better, but she's a lot better than she was. Still skinny, got to put that weight on that she lost, but um, she at least has an appetite for grain, and like I said, I gave her a shot yesterday, so she ought to start improving. Then that one over there, you can see, I also gave her a shot yesterday, and hopefully, hopefully, she starts getting better. So you can maybe tell they're all starting to cough a little bit. Um, I think the reason why I'm getting so much pneumonia and coughing is due to uh, the weather. It's been overcast for the last week basically. And it gets into the lower 60s at night and it starts raining and drizzling and it's been drizzling for four or five days straight. So I think that'd be the reason because a week ago it was 97 and sunshine. So. Uh, I think it's due to the change in weather, so I'm hoping in the next couple days when the weather gets back to usual, um, they will slowly get over what little cough they have. Um, another option would be medicated feed, which I don't really want to do, but that's probably where this is going to be headed if they all start ha start coughing. Um, and of course that means getting a VFD from the vet um, and buying some medicated crumbles. So, um, Like I said, there's it's mainly been heifers that have been showing symptoms so far. None of the steers have really uh, 
shown any weight loss or lost any appetite so I don't know what it is but it's mostly been heifers and dairy calves they they just they're not the healthiest animals and so uh, they get sick pretty easy and even though these are beef cross with dairy uh, they're still not as well off as a straight beef calf would be so anyway hopefully hopefully uh, the rest of them don't get get sick like that one um, like I said, she did have previous issues, so I think that's the reason why she went down so fast. But um, she's all better now, so Jackson took care of it. Um, and I've been checking these guys three times a day just to make sure none of them are getting worse. So um, if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I would encourage you to subscribe if you haven't already. And for everyone else, I would appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up. And with that being said, I will see you all next time.